All right, my goal for today is to not get kicked out of Aldi. <laughs> All right, I've, I've joined the fanny pack world. I have this, I have, oh, I don't have a quarter. Am I new here? Anyways, I'm gonna show you some of my favorites, a few of my favorite recipes. We're gonna do a Walmart pickup too, but mainly how do I look at grocery shopping a whole lot differently than I used to? All right, had to get a quarter from the cashier, but we're set. So honestly, most times I do grocery pickup now. It keeps me from impulse buying, but we're going camping this weekend. So it actually doesn't really change what we eat or, or how we shop that much. I just want to come and see if there's any new deals or anything. I sometimes feel like I miss out on the good specials when I do grocery pickup. So I just noticed grapes are only 95 cents a pound. So yes, we will be getting a ton of grapes. And I saw somebody um, checking out with cherries, which are, the kids would love if they're not too expensive right now too. I also really like this white cheddar popcorn. So that's like a treat. So I'll get like one bag. Normally I'm like, just make it in the microwave. It's so much cheaper. <laughs> oh my goodness, they have watermelon. Only $5.99. Corbin's gonna freak out. But this will be our first watermelon of the season. So this is gonna be super fun to take with camping. And then um, I'm gonna get some strawberries here. Our strawberries at home will be like producing pretty soon. We still gotta buy them right now. So I'm gonna grab a few other fruits and veggies and then we'll keep moving on. $2.99 for broccoli, what? It used to be like a dollar, it's not even organic. It used to be like a dollar $1.79. Oh, I really had to like go on a lot of the organic stuff for now, but it's okay, it's okay. Um, it is what it is. I'm gonna grab a pineapple. I have to show you my pineapple gadget at home. Uh, so now I get a pineapple like every time we go shopping. See, this is why I can only come to the store every once in a while because I see things like this, like chicken dipping sauce, Chick-fil-A sauce. And I'm like, uh, yes, of course we have to try that, right? But I have to be careful that we don't get too much of this stuff because it doesn't get used and it sits in the back of the pantry. But mostly I am getting um, like most of our produce here. And then like I said, I'm doing a Walmart pickup too. So I kind of know between the two, like which is the cheapest, but for produce, um, it's usually, it's here, at least where we live, so. All right, I'm in the, the dairy section now, so I'm gonna grab a few other things. All right, the, the meat department's like the most depressing area, right? But um, we really like these bratwurst here, and uh, they're even on sale for $3.49. Um, so I'm gonna grab a bunch of packages of these. We do a lot of grilling, like really simple, easy stuff um, this time of year. So let's get, I don't even know. They, they keep well and they freeze well, so I'm gonna grab a few of these. I have to completely avoid this aisle. All the houseware stuff, I will find something and I will justify it to myself, but I don't need anything. That's not what I came here for, so I'm just going to keep walking right by this aisle. I wanna show you another one of our favorites. We always get um, chicken nuggets here, but we really like these Parmesan um, breaded chicken tenders too. They've crept up in price like everything else. They're just like really good quality and they're perfect if you make them in the air fryer. They're awesome. Okay, I'm just noticing they have like expanded the home goods. It's like a whole nother aisle. It's like all of this and all the way down these full two aisles. This is why I can't come in the store anymore. <laughs> like, look how cute these baskets are and stuff. Nope. Don't need it. I just gotta get some stuff for s'mores. You know we'll have a campfire this weekend. So I just need to get that and then I think I have everything on my list. Okay, I have to show you. I just noticed this is a planter. What? That is so cute. <laughs> Would that look cute on my open shelves in the kitchen? Okay, I'm gonna leave it here and then if I think I really need it, I will come back for it. But, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> I'm never going to be allowed to come in this store again. They have hydrangeas. Isn't that so pretty? I mean, those ones up there are like completely dead. <laughs> but, and it's pink. I know there's a very good chance it'll change color when I, if I bring it home and put it in the dirt. Oh, it just makes my heart so happy. I think this, I think this needs to come home with us today. Well, this is very quickly turning into a how not to shop with me. <laughs> I'm just impulse by. Have you seen these before? It's like the almonds with the dark cocoa powder on them. They're so good. And I was just trying to get the chocolate for the s'mores and then I saw these and how much are they? Ooh, they are $4.99. But this will last me a really long time. All right, I think I have to get this too.
All right, so I was just looking at the receipt. The total was $154, um, which I know I impulse bought. So the hydrangea was $12.99. I don't normally buy plants at, at like Aldi because who knows if it's actually gonna like last or not, but that was for sure an impulse buy. It was so pretty and I love hydrangeas. Um, the chocolate covered almonds, those were a splurge as well. So there was definitely like maybe up to $20 of impulse buys. Oh, and then the Chick-fil-A sauce, 22. So that is genuinely why I do order pickup. Um, I do, I like how you can see your cart, like the amount adding up. And honestly, I almost, I was like, maybe I shouldn't even do this video today because I know this is actually like a really stressful topic, right? And so, but I did want to share with you, we'll get home, we'll take everything out and I'll show you it all together. We'll do our Walmart pickup too. But um, I think the encouragement I wanted to give to you today is that the way I've found to stay in budget and not waste money through all the different seasons, like when we've had very little funds, and even currently now not wanting to waste money is by keeping a low gr grocery inventory and by going grocery shopping every single week. So this, I am just thinking one week's of groceries, one week of groceries, doesn't matter if stuff's on sale. I, I find that if I stock up, I waste food, I forget about it, it expires, it gets you know pushed to the bottom of the freezer. And so for me, like over the years, I have done it all. I've done sales and coupons and bulk buying and all of that, but I really feel that the only thing I've been able to stick with and do consistently week in and way out, week out to save money is to keep the grocery inventory low, grocery shop at least once a week and just get enough for this week. Then I'm not forgetting about stuff and stuff's not going bad in the fridge. So that's been the tactic. Oh, and of course, doing a very simple meal plan. Like if you've seen my meal planning videos, <laughs> I keep it very simple. So like this week is chicken tacos. I'll show you that recipe. That is the best, most versatile. Uh, I will show you this recipe um, today yet too. Uh, brats and hot dogs, hamburgers, sandwiches, like cold sandwiches with turkey and meat, and baked potatoes with something. <laughs> so like that is the extent of my meal plan for this week. But it's summer, we do, you know, easy cooking this time of year. So, um, all right, let's get this stuff home, get it unpacked, and uh, we'll look at it all together. Okay, so I got the Walmart grocery pickup. I got everything into the house and spread out here on the counter. I don't normally do this with groceries, so it was kind of fun to see everything here together. So why don't we just kind of talk through a few things here. And then I also do want to absolutely show you my um, chicken tacos recipe because it is my favorite recipe and we use it for so many different things. Okay, we'll start with the produce first. I probably don't have this displayed as nicely as I should. All right, so we got some veggies here, uh, cucumbers, baby carrots. The organic baby carrots were almost the same price as the regular ones, so I grabbed the organic. Broccoli, this, this was all from Aldi. This is um, Tom's favorite veggie dip from, this came from Walmart. Um, but if we have this in the house, all the veggies will get eaten, right? You just need a good dip. Um, and then for fruit, we have strawberries. The, the grapes, like I said, were only 95 cents a pound. So I grabbed a huge bag. We have some apples. This is like one of our first watermelons of the year, which is super exciting uh, here in Minnesota. And then a pineapple. But here's what I want to show you with the pineapple. Once it gets ripe, this is a contraption you can buy on Amazon. I'm gonna put a clip of Adeline using it. We buy pineapple every single grocery trip now because this makes it so easy to cut up. And I was so tired in the past, I would get um, pineapple and then never use it in time. And so we love it. And so now we get that um, all the time. And then for like salad stuff, I didn't get a lot of lettuce and spinach this time because we're going camping. So for ease, I like to get these kits that um, at, pretty much just Adeline and I will eat them uh, when we're on, when we're camping. But normally I would have like some spinach or lettuce or those kinds of things. Um, I think that's pretty much it for produce. And then uh, here's the, the dipping sauce, All right? We'll try that out. I'll let you know how it is. We needed some more barbecue sauce. Um, most of this stuff is stuff we will use over the next week. But the one thing I did stock up on is a bag of chocolate chips and a cake mix for chocolate chip cookie bars. If you have not made chocolate chip cookie bars, I will put the recipe down below. It is the easiest dessert. Um, and so I always like to have this on hand. I don't know that we'll need it like this week, but we had made it a couple times, so I was running low. So I got those to stock up. And then here's kind of our snack foods. What's nice about Walmart, this came from Walmart, the Pringles. I ordered the generic, they were out, so they replaced it with the brand name, but still only charged me the generic price. So I really like that about Walmart pickup. I showed you the popcorn and I have a couple bags of um, chips back here. We'll do cereal for breakfast when we are out camping. And then I just got some like crackers 
so that, whoops, oh no, I almost had like a domino effect here. Uh, for snacks in the car, we have our stuff um, for s'mores here. And so that's all ready to go. And then um, let's see, okay, this is the stuff. So for chicken tacos, the only thing you need are chicken breasts, which I have here, salsa and um, taco seasoning. And so you literally just cook the chicken, shred it, and then mix it with the taco seasoning and the salsa. It's so good, so easy to use. But this is so good. If you have not tried this, this is my favorite. I got this from Walmart, the guacamole salsa. It comes in different like medium and, and mild. I love this so much. So anytime we have like tacos or anything like that now, I even like to put it on the chicken chili. And it's a way to kind of spice up things. I try to make the taco meat not too spicy, but then if I add this, I can make it a little bit more spicy. Um, again, because we're going camping this weekend i got more things like frozen hamburgers those came from walmart um, at aldi you saw we got the brats i got some just this style hot dogs wieners um, so that is really easy to grill stuff and then i got buns for those we try to stay away from like the white breads and buns and that kind of stuff and pasta on a regular basis because gauge is uh, sensitive to gluten and tom and i just noticed we feel like junk when we eat it but for this trip this kind of stuff we'll get it um, and then we also, I got a bunch of lunch meat so that we will make like sandwiches or wraps. I got a bag of chicken nuggets at Aldi and then I showed you um, the Parmesan chicken tenders. We really like those a lot. So um, this will definitely get eaten up. Th these will be for when we get back home because those we put in the air fryer. And then to go along with the chicken tacos, oh no, I forgot tortillas, darn it. <laughs> um, sour cream, uh, cheese for the, the tacos, we need milk for the cereal. Um, I got some heavy cream for my coffee in the morning. And then also I did get um, one package of paper plates since we're camping. And then we needed some napkins as well. And as far as meat, my parents have a friend um, with beef cows. And so they had asked if we wanted to buy a bunch of hamburger. So we do have hamburger in the freezer downstairs. So we'll sometimes pull that out for different things. And then we do actually have some more chicken in the freezer, uh, some like whole chickens that we had raised, but they're not the most convenient when you're getting ready to go out of town. So for, like I said, for chicken tacos, I will um, cook this in the oven and then shred it in the stand mixer. So I'll link down below to that recipe and all the, all the ways I use this um, chicken taco mix. We make chicken chili. Uh, we make all kinds of enchiladas, different things with it. It's so good and it's so easy. I also forgot to mention these sausage patties. So this kind from Aldi is the only kind that like Tom and the kids like. We've tried like the Walmart, different brands, store brand, name brand. These are the ones they like, but they're not always in stock anymore. So that's why I grabbed two of them. I don't like to stock up a lot because, you know, it's more inventory to manage, but both this and um, the deli meat had been going out of stock as well. So that's why I got extra of that and extra of these, but pretty much everything else should get consumed this week. And I should also mention too, if you watch Tom's channel at all, uh, we have eight egg layers right now too. We just got them not too long ago. We've been feeding them organic grain, which is also not cheap. <laughs> so, uh, but we eat eggs all the time now. And so uh, it's, it's an investment, but we have those. So I don't have to buy those at the store anymore, which is kind of nice. And as far as the produce, I am constantly torn between getting like organic and the most high quality, best everything and just being super cheap and frugal and just so frustrated at the prices when I go to the grocery store now. So like this trip, we, I mean, nothing's organic except for the baby carrots. And I know it's all trade-offs, right? And we just all have different convictions at different times. So this, this video is not meant to be like, hey, this is how you should grocery shop. It's literally just showing um, what we're getting this week, but I, just so you know, it's something that I'm constantly thinking about and like always going back and forth in my head. Should I get organic? Should I not? Um, and so for this trip, it was not so much organic. And you can see my my nails. Um, this I actually got in my last Walmart pickup was like the nail wraps. So I colored my hair. Diana thinks it's hilarious that I still like color my own hair or whatever. Um, so I colored my hair. I, I got some of the color on my nails and it turned them like brown and it, it looked so bad. And I was like, I gotta do something <laughs> with my nails. And so uh, I was like, well, I've always wanted to try the nail wraps. They have stayed on so well. I am like a big fan of these now. And then as far as grocery budget, I'd heard one time that if you take the number of people in your household and multiply it by a hundred, that should be your grocery budget roughly for the month. So that would put us about $150, we have six people in our household per week. 
And so, um, like I said, I spent $154 at Aldi, but like 22 was impulse buys and a Hydra Ninja. Uh, so if we, if we take that down, that puts us to like 130. And then I spent another um, $74 at Walmart. So that puts us actually up around $200. But I think, you know, with the price of groceries right now, the, the package of chicken I bought is normally like $9 and it was $15, right? Which then again, I'm like, get the chicken out of the freezer in the basement, Dawn, <laughs> right? Like, what are you doing? So, but again, we're all human, right? Like sometimes I just have to buy the fresh meat to get the tacos made before we leave to go camping, you know? And so we're all human beings and everything is a trade-off. So yes, in an ideal world, I would have got the chicken out of the freezer, but it just doesn't always happen that way. But I do feel like most weeks we are able to stick a little bit closer to the 150 end than the 200, so just so you know. What I do wanna do is I do wanna share, I have two videos on meal planning, and so if you at all struggle in that area, because it's good, like I said, my number one tip, keep the grocery inventory low, uh, go in with a shopping list, have a meal plan, like that has helped me to save the most money when it comes to groceries, but, uh, most of us don't have a lot of bandwidth right now to do a lot of like extensive meal planning. And so like, as you can see from my meal plan, I keep it so simple, but it makes it so I don't resent cooking and meal planning anymore. So I have a video on meal planning, I'll link to that. I also have a couple other videos on it as well. The kitchen and, and groceries was actually where I came up with this idea of inventory and it all being inventory that we have to manage. So if you have just been getting frustrated that you're wasting groceries, wasting money on groceries that go bad, throwing stuff away, uh, forgetting about stuff in your pantry, forgetting stuff at the bottom of your freezer, inventory could just be the problem. There's nothing wrong with you. I've just noticed I don't have a lot of extra bandwidth to remember that I have strawberries going bad in the fridge, right? And so by keeping the inventory low, buying just a week's worth of groceries at, the, at a time, it's so much easier to manage and we hardly waste any food now or money on food going bad. So that has been awesome. It makes me feel like a much better human being when I'm not wasting food, <laughs> right? Especially with the prices right now. All right. I feel like I should also mention too that we do have, like none of this was stocking up for any kind of like emergency preparedness or anything. So we do have that extra like food storage in the basement. So I kind of just like leave that there and then week in, week out, I don't feel a need to um, have to stock up, but I am getting to the point where I'm gonna have to start rotating through that stuff. So I will have to be a little more intentional about that as well. But just for anyone who has wondered like, cause once you have anything extra for food, we do have that extra food storage down in the basement. All right, well, I would love to know, do you have any favorite shopping tips or any favorite products um, like especially at Aldi, I always love to hear that as well. So if you want to share that down below, I would love to hear it. But I hope you have a great day. I love you and I'll see you again soon.